like or whatever whenever he get it i'm not they kicked me out of their group so that's all right y'all so we live okay this is the first episode of battle rap fridays i'm jazzy J. My co-host Swagger Don, and we got Buns the Fireman in the building tonight with us. So Swag. What's good, man? Rochester, New York, man. Shout it out. Jazzy J, Swagger Don. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. We missing one person, y'all. You know, he's running fashionably late. Hopefully he will make it by sometime the end of this live tonight. But if not, you know, shout out to um Stretch. Yeah. Oh, stretch. <laughs> but um Swag, what you want to start off with? Um Well, let's start off with uh with, with reviewing the battles. I, I was hoping all four of us would have been here to review the battles, but um he says uh Stretch is running fast and be late. Hopefully he'll get any time. He can he can catch up. We can go over some of those some of those with him as well. Right, right. All right. Which one you want to um go over first? Uh, you whichever one you pick. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, all right. Let's start with um Soul Play and Sanity. Let's start with them. All right, this that battle took place at four one three Battle League. Um, that's out in New England. Shout out, shout out to uh, Jason Weeks and the good people out there at four one three. So I chose, I chose to watch this battle this week. It's one of the it's one of the newest drops from four one three. Got two, uh, two MCs, one by the name of Sanity, one by the name of Soul Play. Uh, Burns, you want you want you want to give your first take on what you what you uh what you saw when you when you watched the battle? When I watched the battle, um, I, I had to adjust a little bit, to be honest. You know what I mean? When I first watched him, I had to kind of adjust the way I listened to the battle when I heard uh, both rappers. Um, but definitely Sanity, man, he, um, he, he definitely came out with, he came out swinging, you know? But uh, so, like, you know, it's like, it's a little different out there in different areas, you know? So it's like, yeah. You can, go, you can kind of go either way, so it's kind of hard for me to really pick, you know what I mean? A winner. If I had to say one, I would probably have to say Soul. Oh, wait. So, Soul went so first. Sanity was the second one. Okay. Wow. Honestly, I think uh, Sanity was second. Sanity, I think came, he came a little harder. Right. Uh, he was he was he was hitting with the with the um like Jazz, me and Jazz was talking about it earlier. She was talking about how he was hitting with the uh with the uh white privilege jokes. Right, 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 right. And uh, the delivery was on point. He he just seemed like he was a little bit more oh, confident. Yo, you know what? I think I got him backwards, brother. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, That's crazy. Okay, yeah. So so was the first one. He seemed like he was like. He was more surprised that he was saying the things he was saying himself. He was surprised at himself. Like, whoa, right. I just said that. Whoa, wait a minute. So <laughs> he, he just um, you know what? Um, with Soul Play, he, to me, he just seemed like he was kind of like playing, hyping himself up before the battle even started. And then it came kind of like, I don't know, it just really came off kind of animated and dramatic. Like, I really wasn't feeling it at all from him. Not one bit. So you so you pretty much just saying like his performance was off. Yeah. Like if, if he was trying to if that's what he was intended to do, was, it was yeah, that was the adjustment performance or whatever. He needs to he needs to work on that. He needs to work on that. Yeah. Um, as far as like his wordplay, everything he was saying, I think if he was just been a little bit more confident about what he was saying, it would have hit a little bit more with the crowd. I think so. Because I know, you know, when you battle in front of different crowds, you gotta know your crowds. You gotta know who you're rapping in front of. You might right. get in front of a crowd, they like nerd bars. You might get in front of a URL crowd or something like that. They want to hear gun bars. They want to hear you kill a person a hundred times in your round. You know what I'm saying? There's a different right. way you keep on doing it. It's, it's, it's different crowds. For that 413 crowd, I feel like he had the right material, just not the right confidence right. behind it to push right. that. To push. They're going to push. They're going to stretch right there. Okay. Panic board is crazy. Just show the fact that. So you something the link? 
Yeah, hold on, I'm about to sign the song again. Okay. But yeah, go ahead with what you were saying. Oh my god. But yeah, I mean that's just the that's that's the just of it though. I feel like he if he would have just been a little bit more confident about what he was about what he was saying, it would have hit a lot harder and it'd have been more of a and it's hard because one rounders, I don't like judging one rounders. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But at the same time, if I was just if I was a Judge and I had to say who's a clear winner to me. I would have said it was Sanity mm. off, the, off the fact his performance was believable. I believe, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah, he really mean that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he talking his talk, you know what I'm saying that's what it's about to me, you know what I'm saying that's what I got out of that battle, right? Like you said, um, you know, with the whole white privilege comment that he made within his battle, um, it brought relevance to what you know actually goes on. And you could see more predominantly of that crowd was white people. So he kind of like got them engaged. Like, yeah, he's right. We we do got that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Like they felt what they were saying. Yeah, like they like like you know what I'm saying. I mean, no, I mean like I said, shout out to 413, whatever case may be. I don't think that they, you know, but they would acknowledge, they would acknowledge some some shit that really happens. And right. <laughs> It was kind of relevant to what happens in the news. So, like, you're right. You're right. You're right. right. That's why I related to the crowd. He said it. He knew the crowd to say it in front of. Him. Right. Absolutely. They related to it very well. So, I think he played well on the crowd there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, Definitely did. Definitely did. So, hold on. I think so. Hold on. Let's get them right real quick. If you watch the stretch stretches down, download the app, and then uh, and then and then click on the on on the link you got sent. Yep. All right, here he goes. Stretch, you're not showing on the camera, huh? Stretch, if you hear us, refresh and then come back in because you're not showing. Yeah, like back, like all the way close out, close out the whole B Live app and then they hit the link and join back in. It's a fix your camera. Right. Oh, there okay. you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. All, all right. right. So, welcome to the fashionably late stretch mills, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. My fault. I mean, so it's all, it's all, it's all love. It's all right. Love. We'll jump right into where we where, where we was at. Uh, you didn't really miss much. We just did the first uh, review of the uh, Sanity and Soul Play battle. Uh, the battle that took place at four one three. Um, how, how did you feel about that battle when you watched it? I don't, I don't think I've seen that one yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, when you when you get a chance, take a, take a look at that battle. That battle happened at four one three. Uh, I think it was the roulette card or whatever case may be. Nice battle, nice battle to watch. Um, we we was just recapping that. Um, what what, what battles did, did you get to see? We'll recap that one next. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I've been writing for this shit I got, so I've been like, focused. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, you <laughs> know, you know, from Burn said the same thing. He, said, he, said, he probably didn't get to. I know, my boy, I know my boy in the Matrix right now. I, yeah, I, I listen. I, 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 I respect it. I respect it. You got, you got to understand. Um, for the people that's watching the show, uh. They don't they, they don't understand what Stretch is talking about. He's writing for a battle right now. And when you're writing for a battle and you're in battle mode, it's hard to, to try to get focused on doing anything else that's gonna take you out your element or or or, or divert you from what you let I me mean, your mind frame. Right. What you gotta get when you when you when you studying for a battle. I got a battle on, on, on Sunday, so you know I, I know the feeling. You know what I mean? So uh well we'll, we'll get to the next battle anyway. Uh the next battle was uh was it uh oh uh Hami Tommy or Tommy Tommy <laughs> Hami Tommy and uh and crack mm -hmm. that happened at on site battle league uh huh you know what I'm saying um because I, I don't know if any if any I uh, think Burns you said you was there for that battle yeah I was there for that I make different was you there for that battle as well nah I missed that event okay so uh what what did you think what did you think about battle, that battle? you said you seen it. Yeah, I seen the battle though. I think um, 
I don't even think, honestly, there was a winner in that battle. All I had was just a little bit of honey. I mean, like, I you know, one, it, was a, it was a one round. You know, one round is as hard as hard to, but like, what did you get from the battle though? Like, like, who you felt had a had a like more performance or they came more bar heavy? Both of them was just spitting bars, bro. Like it wasn't really. That's why I don't like the one round battles because them shits don't they don't really show you much. You know what I'm saying? Because you could do anything in one round, but when you got them three rounds, that's when you see extra shit. But that one round, both of them went off. Don't I'm not taking nothing from nobody. Both of them went off, but I just don't see like a clear winner in that battle. Yeah, I respect. I respect that. Burns, how how do you feel about that battle? Uh, they both they both went in, you know what I'm saying? Um, like like Shred said, man, it was close enough to not really have a clear winner, you know, uh, outside of uh Dre choking a little bit towards the end of his round, a little bit like the they both was in the pocket with each other, you know, outside of that minor slip up from him. So that's like the only way, like, you know, it's really edged towards Tommy a little bit only because of that. But Dre was in the pocket, everything he was saying, and so was Tommy. So it was definitely a good battle. Yeah, yeah. Jazzy, how did you feel about that? Um, wait, hold on. Um, <clears throat> to me, I thought Crack had a stronger delivery than Tommy. For me personally, um, even though he stumbled a bit, he was quick to like regain his position in that battle. You know, it, it, you couldn't tell he missed a beat really at right. all. So mm -hmm. I did like that. I really thought that he kind of took it over, Tommy, to be yeah, honest great. with you. Yeah. Honestly, uh, what I got from that battle, I I, I agree, I, I agree with y'all. Uh that uh that I like I said, I don't like judging one rounders either. You know what I'm saying? But they both came with solid performances. I that's a that's a battle that I would like to see go three rounds. Like if they said they was gonna do it again and do it for three rounds, that's mm -hmm. something I'd be like, all right, yo, I'm gonna have to pull up and see this one. You know what I mean? Exactly. They, both, they, they both came ready. You know what I'm saying? I like right. that. I like that. That that was that was dope. Um, the third battle we have was uh Dan versus E Heart. Um, that that battle happened at Premier Rap Battle League. Um, uh, anybody want to start it off? Who? I'm gonna give I'm gonna get that one to Zan, man. Zan like, versus E Heart. I'm gonna give it to the chick Zan, man. The reason is because, like, I know what he, like you ever you seen the Jay Mills versus uh, K Shine battle the other day. Mm -hmm. You kind of know, you kind of know what the other battler is gonna do, but like, but for the new girl, that achy breaky heart and all yeah. that, bro, like, yo, bro, like, I, I, I like that, bro. Yeah. She I definitely put damage with that one line right there. I was like, yeah. well, damn. Like, e Heart yeah. was E Heart. She 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 spit how she spit, but the new girl to be spitting that level of bars that have never been heard of from like from over here. Like, yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely did her thing, but I agree. Um, I gave that one to Zan as well. Yeah, I, you know what I think? I think uh because e, you know, E Heart, she was more of the vet in that battle. Right. And I feel even if it was a one rounder, I feel she should have came harder. I expected more from her, way more. You know what I'm saying? And when I seen how Zan started going in, it was like it was like, wow, okay. She 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 definitely came to this this the the uh put her flag down, like, yeah, this is me, this is what I do. Nah, that mean? girl is dope, man. Like, I was surprised. This is what I do. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, that's that's dope. That's dope. You know what I mean? She she definitely left an impression on me like, like Somebody I should start watching out for. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So let, let's um let's ask let's ask some questions. Let's get into who y'all are, you know, as artists, battle rappers. Let's start with Mr. Mills. Mr. Mills, can you tell us something about yourself as an artist that maybe the fans and viewers would not know? Nah, I usually put everything out there. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the point of being an artist because you don't just rap about shit you, you don't live. I rap about my life. I tell people what I go through. So, if basically you listen to my music, you can understand who I am. But if not, just a nigga from Syracuse with some talent, I'm trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. That's no, all that's I right. You know what I mean? But battle-wise, I just like battling. It's just mm -hmm. it's a different feel than the music. I just like battling. Okay. 
All right. Bun, what about you? Burns. Burns, sorry. Burns, what about you, huh? Um, yeah, man, most definitely, man. Like, you know, like, something about me is like, I hate battle rap, the what it takes from me. You know what I mean? When I'm when I'm in my mode to actually go into a battle as far as like it, the, the balance of the music in real life. So that's crazy. But yeah, that's me. But at the end of the day, man, like we move for one cause and we're all together in the things that we do. So if one of us plateaus, man, we all gonna plateau together. So that's that's pretty who I am is a person just trying to kick in the door, man, for the whole entire region. Well, on one episode, um, not too long ago, we were talking about misogyny in the industry. Do you think that carries over to the battle rap world as well? Who are you, who are you asking that, to me? Either one. I mean, I think everything, everything from from like the mainstream and all that other stuff, all is going to carry over to battle rap because it's still a form of hip hop and it's a form of music that's on the map and it's a culture. So everything in the world, even even something that Donald Trump does, will become a subject of a battle rapper's music. You know what I mean? So yeah, it all it definitely all transfers all together. It's the same. Okay. Like for so like for instance. When you talk about top five battle rappers, nobody ever says, nobody ever says, uh, Miss Hustle. Nobody ever puts Miss Hustle in, in, in the top five. But I know a lot of battle rappers, Miss Hustle, a uh, uh, run through. You know what I'm saying? But right. nobody ever puts in the top five. If you ask, they won't even put it in the top 10. But I, I, I can name a couple of top guys I think she rap better than. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but and, and that's, a, that's a clear example of misogyny right there. Like, like, yeah. like, because she's a female, they will always look at the guy's pen as being stronger. When, when um that per that perfect example of that battle we was watching the other day, uh, who was it? Uh, QB and Arsenal. Yo, I think QB. I mean, Arsenal went off, but but QB went off too. She showed that her pen can be just as nasty, just as wicked, just mm -hmm. as you know what I'm saying, disgusting, violating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she gave him a lot for his damn money, which she did. Exactly, but they won't put they won't put her in the top five. Why? A it's, it's, a different, it's a different standard for females, though. You know, like it's it's just how it goes. Like the standard is different. It's like um, if you ever battled a female before, like pretty much, you really can't talk about the same stuff you could talk about if you battling a dude. You don't want to talk about shooting a female. You want you have to rap against her with total disrespect everything has to be your bitch you're a hoe you know so it kind of takes away from the performance you got to kind of clown on her so it's it's not it's weird it's a weird setup the way it goes but that's just how it is man politics yeah mills what you think i think female battle rappers i, I like it but Burns right though, because a female also can say anything they want. They can talk right. about gun bars. They can talk about personal life shit that they dealt with with they nigga before, and it all hits in a battle. To be a nigga battling a female, you got to be real talented if you're trying to like get a three zero or a clear win. Because they plus a lot of people like seeing female battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you look good, they're going to watch you, they're going to fuck That's with you. Bad. And there's a lot of gas in battle rap nowadays. A lot of gas. So that female know 200 people that live close by is going to look oh, like yeah. kill the nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I think I, I don't think Miss Hustle is in the top five. I give her top ten, though. That, 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 that's, that's, that's what I'm saying though. I mean, like, but see how you how you put it in? Now, if you if you say that, if we were saying that in a group of just just guys, how many guys would be like, nah, you bugging? Yeah. But before yeah. they actually took time to analyze what you just said, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's Sazi right there. That's the that's the mind frame. It's like because yeah. she's you know, automatically I gotta be like, nah. Right. You gotta put that you gotta put that up there. Like, wait a minute. Could she be could she beat a lot of these niggas? Uh, I never see her battle these niggas, maybe because nobody gives her a shot to battle these niggas. It's tough. It's tough to battle a female, bro, though. I'm telling right. you, it's tough. Because right. you got to right. kind of like, you got to take elements of yourself and kind of like put it into certain things to battle a female. You can't talk about hustling 
what you did in the block against a female, it ain't gonna hit. None of that matters. Everything has to be, it's a different way you have to attack. As a male, it's a different attack. Like Stretch said, a female can say anything. Yeah. You know, so she's gonna like I've witnessed I've I've been a part of it before, you know, so he's right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, he made a valid point with that. A valid, very valid point. Um so, so, so let me let me ask you this. What is what do y'all see the current state of battle rap? And me, you know, I'm talking about after all the you know, they were talking about they were gonna go on strike and how you know how everybody's not getting they equal what they're supposed to be getting, or every people feeling like they cheated or whatever. What do you think the current state is right now with these like R like RBE that's having bigger events than than Smack at some at some points of the year or whatever case may be? With the balance going up and down, what do you think the current state is? Okay. You gonna go, bro? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I- Oh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever had, whoever had a he in the zone. He in the zone. He just thought of another bar. <laughs> I think battle rap came a long way, and and I like how all these other leagues now are trying to be better than Smack. So they book battles that Smack won't book. Like it's just different shit. And shit, let them niggas go on strike. That opens up the doors for us. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we in there, it's over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't keep having the same people battle over and over again. You only get so many. Find the same you know what I'm saying? Like, how many times you gonna watch Charlie Clips battle before you like, all right, Charlie, take them, take a year off. Right. Bring some new people out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it gets boring after a while. But the way it is now, it's like they're bringing a lot more people into the into rap game. Right. And, and all these industry motherfuckers is watching the battle rappers. Mm-hmm. Like I be, I see a lot of shit. Like you go to a, a, um, an Instagram of a famous battle rapper, and you'll see him chilling with Drake or chilling with NBA basketball players and off battle rap. So you can get you can get real far off battle rap if you get the right looks and you go to the right yep. spots. That's true. In the right circles, the right conversations. Right. Yeah. That network, man. Yeah, that's what it's really about. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? That's what it's really about. It really is about like, basically it's about making everything count. You know, like like when you when you do these battles and these shows, it's a politic in the world. You know, yeah. what I mean? it's not sometimes it's not about who you battle, sometimes it's about where you battle. The mm-hmm. same person. You know what I mean? Like you could battle the same person on on you could you could battle the same person. Both of y'all can have the same exact performance. But it'll resonate better on a different stage, different platform from, a, from another stage. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. battles that got you know one thousand, two thousand views that sh- that that are better than battles with four hundred thousand views. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But the politics control battle rap. That runs battle rap, no matter what. Just like you said with the girls. You know what I mean? The politics not gonna allow them to be in the top ten. You know what I mean? Not gonna allow them. That's just how that. That's the way the game is operated. On they're go, they're only gonna let the artists do half of the work, and you gotta already be established before you can go, you know, through Smack and RBE and stuff like that. So I like you like Tread said, RBE has a big enough platform where a murder mook and an A verb won't lose nothing battling on their stage. You know what I'm saying? They won't lose anything. You know, as where they can go, they go to a small league. It'll do good for the small league, but it'll, it'll dwarf their numbers. You know, so RBE is definitely getting on that plateau with KOTD and Smack, where they can also host battles that are going to do good. You know, just like the other leagues do. Smack made two point five million off of pay per view battle. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is so, a business. Like, if if you um, I don't know. Like during the strike, I don't know if y'all if y'all listen to any of those uh podcast interviews that Disaster did. But I was listening to one, and he was talking about what happened during that when KOTD booked that uh that uh oxymoron battle. And he said how him and Oxy him and oxymorons was going to do the battle out of their own pocket. They was going to do it themselves and do everything, and the money they was going to get back off of it. When KOT gave them an offer, they gave them an offer for the same thing he was going to pretty much make off it anyway, without them having to do all the work. But they did it, but then they didn't realize how KOTD was getting money off 
off all these different sponsors. So disaster said how I went from making making ten thousand dollars off a of battle to making fifty seven thousand dollars off a of battle because I mark I knew how to market myself. And I started going. Remember, remember during that battle, he called out a phone number. Yeah, sent some phone number. He was like, "Yo, call that number at the end of this battle. I'm gonna answer every one of my fans." That was a phone number to a business. Yeah, and he did a promo for them. That was a ten thousand dollar phone number. I mean, he said that, that was a ten thousand dollar bar. He got paid ten thousand just to say a phone number. So, so being a battle rapper, you have to market yourself. That's why I was just saying a minute ago. It's all about marketing yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, and once you, once you, once you, once you master being the battle rapper, being the manager, and, 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 and marketing yourself, you know, you you you, 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 you the whole show. You the whole show, and they, and they don't even know it. That's a fact. Yeah. So we were talking about um, a battle rap that took place in the group. I forgot who it was, but um, it, it was a very heated debate. One of the guys basically made a comment um, about basically, you know, shooting coming the baby cereal. And the other, <laughs> other battle rapper winds up hitting him. A lot of people were saying, you know, they disagreed with it. You know, they was right. He was right for hitting him. While another group of people were basically saying, you know, hey, it is what it is. All bets are off. I just want to get y'all perspective on that. He was wrong for that. Yo. You don't swing on nobody during no battle unless they get very, very disrespectful. To me, that wasn't. Wow. That was a regular bar. He could have said that to anybody. He didn't. You know what I'm saying? But, that bar could have fit in any battle, anywhere. Article right. stated shit all the time. I can see if he said his daughter's name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some extra shit to go over the line, but that he, you don't swing on nobody for no shit like that in a battle. No, I agree. He shouldn't have swung on him. I do agree with that. I'm not that a I probably... That probably would have changed the whole tone of the night for me after he said he's going to come with my daughter's cereal, though. Like, I, I would have had to look at him differently as a man from that point on. My whole my whole energy probably would have changed. I probably wouldn't have swung on him or whatever the case may be. But that's, it would have been, been real aggressive bag. after that. I'm thinking about the bag. Yeah, I'm going to have to get wild aggressive with him during the battle. Like, I'm going to make you pop on me so when I beat you up, it's not my fault. If anything. You know what I'm saying? If, if it come to that point, it's not my fault. I'm just going to do what I do without, because I can do that without touching you. I don't got to touch nobody. My my body language says enough. You know what I'm saying? So with my body language and talking with my body language, I would have to make my point with him. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's been what it was. And, and, and it's a show. But yeah, it didn't have to happen like that. That's the same the same way I feel about that, same way I felt about the, the whole goods and, and, and the gyms thing. That was that was whack too. You know what I mean? Good, goods was losing that battle. That's why he did that. You think so? Because I, I really I, I I I I lost the lust of the even want to watch the battle after after I seen the fight. I ain't want to watch the battle, bro. You can't you can't swing on a nigga. That's like all right. Let me let me break this down quick. That's like me saying. Yeah, I'm going live. And you be like, no, you not. And I'm like, where to my daughter I am? You be like, no, you not. And then I punch her in your face just for saying, no, you not. Like, if anything, I'm lying on my daughter, not you. You just said, no, you not. You ain't say, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the punch a nigga over saying he lying on his daughter in a battle. Bro, that shit is corny, my nigga. Like, it, it was. But he said, but in good defense, when he tweeted, what he tweeted was he said he thought he said he thought Jim said fuck his daughter. That's why he said what you said. I mean, okay, wait. But shit like that. Was, that. that was part of his apology. That was part of his apology. Yeah, but shit like that, you gotta already know beforehand. He supposed to already let that, that put that out there, like yo. Just don't mention my daughter, nigga. Ty, he supposed to been do that. You can't wait. You can't wait to get in the round with a nigga if you leave it. If you leave it open, battle rap is the biggest blood sport in the world. Next Hell to fucking yeah. NFL, my, my, my you know what I mean? Battle rap is a blood sport, man. You know what I'm saying? So everything is in bounds if you don't call it. You know what I'm saying? That's like playing, that's like playing spades at a nigga house. 
You know what I mean? Like you might think you win now, nah, nigga. House rules. You know what I'm saying? You ain't call. You ain't call seven spades, nigga. You dig me? So here, seven spades, game. And you react with a punch, bro. That shit weak. <laughs> Especially when they don't see it coming because he in the battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Nobody expected to get punched in the face. So you doing what you do. You know what I mean? So, of course, the first nigga going to always get snuffed because he going to be off guard. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. I ain't never seen a battle rapper attempt to punch and the other nigga dodge it yet. Yeah. Whether it's, never. whether it's a light hit or a heavy hit, Nobody yeah. dodged you yet because they don't see it coming, so it's weak. It's battle rap. You don't expect somebody to swing on you. Right. right. He definitely should have put that out there not to bring up his child or children. Right. Before. Should, yeah, he, when you when you talking the money that these dudes make to pull up, all that supposed to already be in the paperwork, man. You know what I mean? Talk to your management. Talk to your management. Like how you going on strike and you making ten thousand a show. Like, bro, you going out there and, and rapping for nine minutes, bro. You know how much that is a minute? Think of 10, put $10,000 in the nine minutes. And a lot Think of them about how much money that is a minute you making, bro. How you going to go on strike? That wasn't a job. That wasn't a job 20 years ago. You couldn't be a battle rapper and, you know, and like none of this. Yep. So they created a lane and giving these young men the opportunities to market themselves. And then you say you going on strike, bro. You making 10 G's for nine minutes, bro. Do the math. Nine minutes, $10,000, bro. How much is that a minute, bro? That's a fact. You going on strike? That's how you feel? But That's why they need us there. Bro. Exactly. Exactly. I can't wait. I can't wait that they I can't wait that they see stretch on the next level. Oh Lord, son. Cause I'm about to I'm about to fucking retire, man. When this nigga get there, I'm done. Once he get there, I'm done. I'm good. I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm straight. I can sit back and be cool. Bro, bro going to the main to the bro going bro fucking around battle mook in the next two years, man. He get out there. That's all I need, bro. Man, listen. That's all I need. So, so, now, so now let me ask you this: What, what do I think the current state of of upstate back rap is? Like, as far as where does where does upstate New York fit in in the battle rap world right now? In the, in the major world, we 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 got we we got a dent. There's a dent, and there's a dent. There's a dent on Earth from upstate. It just basically we just need the mod like like the the, the people who are ready to be at the gates fighting the main war. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a big war going on. We fighting amongst each other, but we done done that too long, and it don't amount to nothing, you know? So if we're going to waste this energy, we got to fight the war against the world. And we got a couple people at the gates, man, but once we get the... The re- you know what I'm saying? You ever had the, you know you ever had niggas in the cut like, yo, shit, turn this way. If I call this nigga, everything is over with that's what that's what we need right now. Like you know, what I mean, we got dudes like Stretch Mills and and Chase Paper. You know, what I mean, and different like entities up here that if the world see them, it's over with. I don't like I don't gotta do nothing. You know, just I just want the world to see these dudes, man, and and see the stuff that they present because everybody they around say they special. It's not, you know what I mean? Everybody there around say they special, bro. It's not for no reason. Yeah. You know? It's about the politics this year, big bro. There's only two people from upstate that ever made it to URL that had the battle release, and that's you and Half Past Seven. Nah, my battle ain't get released yet till a couple more weeks, bro. Don't, don't jump the gun yet, though, bro. Don't jump the gun, bro. Nobody, you know this. They gonna release that. Nobody choked. Nobody stumbled. That was a clean right, battle. right. That shit dropping. Right, definitely, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. But like at the end of the day, though, you but you the only you the only dude ever in upstate history to be the URL dude, though. Don't forget that. Yeah. You heard me? I battle yeah. on URL, but you be the URL dude. You know what I'm saying? Clearly. Clearly. No, no question. You know what I'm saying? So that right there is that's the first, that's the first 
person to ever do that, bro. Like you, you know, man. Wait till they see stretch, bro. Nah, oh, I know. Oh, wait till they see him. I been, I, listen, I was at the last stretch battle. Oh nah, nah, man, nah listen, don't judge that. that was this is year. like when I when I like see I think a stretch nah. different. You know why you saying that stretch? Because the conversation me and you had before the battle started. That's it. I, so I already know. I know. I know. Yeah. But I was there. You know what I mean? I was there. I heard what you said before the battle started, and then the battle happened, and I said, "All right, yeah." I see that boy, that boy dead nice. Let's go. I, mean, I appreciate it. That's a fact. You know what I mean, stretch a different kind of monster, man. Like it's crazy, man. Like even his first battle, he had some shit with him. You know what I'm saying? And then he, like he transformed into what he's became today. You just gotta sit back and just be like, yo, bro. Like all I say every time, I'm like, yo, bro. If if you show the, if you show them. It's, it's the world is yours. No, I ain't gonna front. I, I was saying that. I was saying that like, sometime earlier this, this summer. I said, Joe, if Stretch got another battle like he did against Big P, over. Yeah, Stretch. Over. Yeah, yeah, that that same, like, put it like this. Like, that's if that same Big T battle would have happened on We Go Hard, man, Stretch would have been on Smack already. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, all, it's sometimes it's about the platform, but it's not even about who. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. He'd have been on smack already, bro. He, you know what I'm saying? Main stage. He got. He know he got the glow. Yeah. Definitely. Jazz, did you have any more questions? Um, I did have another question. Um, regarding you know, being that battle rap is predominantly an African American sport. How do y'all feel about having? A lot of Caucasian rappers into the industry now with y'all. Nah, I, I disagree with that statement because battle rap is a part of music. And it music, is music. Music, music is the most by the most multicultural thing ever created. You know what I mean? Every race has music. You know what I mean? Battle rap, battle rap is music just formulated different. You know what I mean? Like you actually, like you can't go up there and talk like poetry. You have to actually rap. Right. So it's still music without a beat. It's just you're directing it at a, at somebody. You know what I mean? Right. So, so you no, know, it's it's a beautiful thing that all the cultures pick up on it. That's what creates a KOTV, which is like the second largest market for battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like you need that. So because it gives everybody a chance to get somewhere. Like there's black guys on KOTD. It's predominantly white, but guess what? Getting on KOTD, pay the bills just like getting on Smack. It all add. It all. It all add up, bro. I agree. I agree. Mills, what do you think? I like it. I mean, it bring a different side to the battle rap too, because. Not a lot of the white people that battle rap get on there and talk about guns and shooting people. Mm -hmm. but like they're very creative and they're smart. Not saying we not, but I'm not trying to put it in a. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, a lot of these white motherfuckers that get on that stage and they battle are really they're different. They're nice, and they don't just rap about the same shit everybody's gonna rap about. Right. So it makes people. You know what I mean? Like I battle probably like five. Yeah. five white boys in my whole career mm -hmm. and like three of them at first I didn't think they was nice and then when we're battling I'm like yo these motherfuckers are nice and I, I think it just makes it look better mm -hmm. at the end of the day it also causes like a, a race thing cause if you battling a white nigga in his town and he got all these white motherfuckers behind him you got all your niggas behind you you know what I'm saying they look at it as a black versus white thing but I feel like it, it makes it look good because you got Chinese motherfuckers that battle, right. Puerto Rican motherfuckers that battle. Like, it's a lot of people that are nice. So when they all join together and just show that everybody know what they're doing and make this shit look good as one, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Vlad, did you have another question for them? Um. So what you guys got coming up next? Damn, well, what you snapping on over there? Whatever you eating, you was <laughs> fucking it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. Shout out to Funyuns, though. Out the bag. Love Funyuns got the check. You know what I mean? <laughs> Talk about it. But, um, yeah, so what you guys got coming up next? Right. I got my, uh, my album dropping. I still haven't came up with a name yet for it, so I'm waiting for that. I got a mixtape 
in the works. Couple couple more tracks that's dropping. Uh, by the way, go get that Chase in the Bag and that Lucky Seven that's on Spin Rilla and all them sites. And that Talk About It video just dropped, if y'all haven't seen that. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Dutch Black, December 7th. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... it's I'm not excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, it's 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 all they say it's overdue, but I'm not excited. I feel like I could have a better plate. He could have a better plate. You know what I mean? I'm I'm really sick of killing upstate niggas. Like, oh, you know what I mean? it's just I, I need to I need to kill these other niggas. That's how you get in the door. We don't have, and that, that answers a question you asked earlier too about upstate battle rap. If, if a lot of these motherfuckers put that shit to the side and just learn how to work together, we could kick down the door faster than just one person at a time saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. just, but motherfuckers won't do that. Like, it's, it's the egos and shit like that. New York thing. But if they did, bro, I'm trying to tell you if, if, if man, it'd be crazy. But yeah, I got the Dutch Black Battle, on site Battle League. We in uh, Tano Wanda. Tana Wanda Buffalo or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, so we in we in his hometown, you know what I'm saying? So and he nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not taking nothing from Dutch. I just feel like I just feel like I should be battling somebody else other than a Dutch right now, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just how it is in my book, but he probably feel the same way. But he wanna die, so you know what I mean? He he asked for this, he, he kept asking for it. This shit is a favor too. Like I'm not even getting paid for this battle, so I really can care less. But cut that out. I'm serious. I'm about to, yo. I'm telling you, I go in people hometown and I, I I do something different. Like it's just different for me. Like I battle SDK. And they delete statuses a lot, but he put up a status and said I never felt like I was away in my own hometown. You know what I'm saying? And that's the feel people get when they battle me in their hometown. So Dutch doesn't know that. He hasn't felt that yet. You know what I mean? Like I, I can I can really rap. I just don't get out there and say shit. I really rap and, and shit gets serious when you standing in front of me in that ring. And when I take it serious, that makes it even worse. And I, I took that shit serious. Like funny shit. Like this just the I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I'm it's here, like this shit. It's here, all, all it is. You know what I'm saying? All it is. He got a problem on his hands. This battle is not what he was used to. Told you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. He's not. He thought he had a problem when he battled Steams. They're good. No. I was in that battle too. I was a dope battle. I got, I got three rounds. I got three oh, rounds. Man. This ain't just a one rounder. But I'm not. I don't I sleep start, on nobody. I know what he's gonna do. Start right, man. Shit, man. y'all niggas got me. I'm way behind the, the, the board right now. I gotta start right, man. I got my show December 9th, a couple days after that. Mm. My only thing is, I could write really fast. I just, it takes me a long time to memorize my shit. Wait a minute. You know what I'm I'll write three no, three minute no. rounds in in a week, but it's gonna take me like a month and a half to memorize. The gray, man, the I don't know why. I think it's because I try to fatigue everything to make it perfect, so I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't like slip ups. In my whole career, I've only I got 20, I'm 27 battles in. I've only choked one time, and that was a long time ago. I took a battle with two weeks preparation, and and. Shit, and I, I just I thought I could do it. Mid, mid round, the crowd went crazy for a bar. I looked at the crowd. I said something. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, some shit. And then went back to rap and it was gone. So that shit made me feel. When I, I don't even share that battle. I don't even like watching that battle. But when I get in the moods, I watch it. And I'll be like, all right, I don't ever want to do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? So this is just, I'm, I'm, I'm very prepared. Bar wise, but I'm just I gotta get focused, and that's why I'm not gonna be on social sites for a minute until this battle, until I lock these rounds in, cause I gotta get this shit right. I got some shit for this man. Mm-hmm. Oh, sad, Burns. I'm telling you, bro. I know you, bro. You ain't gotta tell me. I already know what it's hitting for, man. All them, all them regular ass Dutch flips and shit that all them other niggas did for it, it ain't gonna work. 
this nigga Steve said every Dutch bar in the world. Yeah, he now, did. You know how hard it is to battle a nigga that you can no longer name flip, and that's I hate the strongest names. thing about it. You know, I avoid I avoid name flips because I've been ducked so many times. So a lot of times that way. That way, if you no show me, you know what I mean? I don't got to worry about having to revamp. I can just keep some of my shit and, you know what I mean, have it. You know what I mean? Because if you name flip, you got you to throw the whole verse away. Yeah, that's what I did for Prez, bro. If I if, if Prez would have showed up and I'd have killed him, I wouldn't have. But I had to rewrite the three new rounds for Prez. For right. right. Like, them shit, but them shits I had for Prez, bro, like they would have killed Anybody, <laughs> if they name was Prez, so I'm like, damn, I can't use these shits for nothing. Now nah, we go right, right, right. right. We got, we got some, we got some plans in the work, bro. You got to inbox me, man. Like something, something crazy about to happen real soon, real fast. Top of the year, D. You know what I mean? Jazzy, top of the year is gonna get crazy, crazy, crazy. I believe bro. it. I'm, I'm a fan of, to, of both of y'all, especially from what I've heard so far. I'm a fan. Um, so I'm interested to see what y'all gonna push out. You know, I'm rooting for y'all. Y'all, y'all from New York. I'm from New York, so it's a given. So it is what it is. But oh, I'm, I'm not interested. just a battle rapper, by the way. If y'all didn't yes, I, I make music. Like I, yes. I make real music songs for everybody. The battling is just like a a bonus talent. You, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people can't make a great song and so get in there and thirty somebody. So for you like inspiring saying? artists, so like for inspiring artists who may want to link up with you and do and do a feature or whatever case may be, right? How can they uh how can they get in contact with you to do to do a feature? I got a lot of um shit on my page, but you can contact AVP Unlimited. On Facebook, Instagram, uh, DC Daryl Clark on Facebook. That's one of my management team. Per- uh, we got Nick Nick Anthony. You contact him. Um, Clem Daniels on site time time or just inbox me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them the ones that make you talk to somebody else to talk to me. You just holler at me and we gonna work and make some music. You know what I'm saying? And um, there is there is fees on things. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit ain't free. Right. I don't, I don't tax, but everybody got to eat. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how it is with me. Uh, right. Just, this is a business at the end of the day, people. It's a business. Yeah. I, I, gave, I gave out a lot of too much free material in my life. And and it's time to it's time to get something back. Definitely, bro. So, so Bruce, what, what do you have coming up? Uh, December 9th, um, I'm back out in Staten Island um, for my last joint for I Battle for the year. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get him one more um, versus uh, Jay Marley. I don't want to say Jess Brown. That's a pause, but you know what I mean? He just came from KOT. You know what I mean? He just came from KOTD um, or whatnot, but you know what I mean? But it's, you know what I'm saying? Definitely an okay look. Um, then it's probably back to uh, back to the URL uh, the top of the year a little bit after that. Or whatnot, but they got something big in the works from that PG performance. So like I'm gonna stay tuned for that. But like I said, it's weird being on like another league time, but like there it's smack. So it's just like, okay, y'all just call me whenever, bro. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all I'm in the loop, I'm falling back, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. So, you know, we like cause I'm on their time right now. So it's like, okay, we dropping your battle. I can't call him like I could do a regular league owner, like, yo, where the fuck my battle at? They go. I'm gonna find somebody else gonna tell me my battle out. You know what I mean? At this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, your battle just dropped. Like, a word, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, so other than that, man, like we just trying to go to the next level. Everything just gotta be in like the people who matter. Everything gotta be in front of everybody who counts. You know, like so sometimes the platform is big. You know, the platform is a portal to the next level. That's why I give like a shout out to like um like CJA for instance. You know he got a short career, but he went to a, a KOTD GZ. Yeah, just just from battling on the right platform that can put you there if you do a good enough job. You know what I'm saying? Just like like I said, we're stretching. He battled on We Go Hard and battle you know Sire Boy and Big T. He'd have been on the Smack Space. That's a direct portal to Smack. You know what I'm saying? You don't really gotta make nobody look when everybody's watching there from that spot. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's different. It's different ways to be seen. But when, when you know, what I'm saying when you got immense talent like that, all it takes is like one or two times on the right platform, bro, and you gone. That's a fact. So let me ask y'all a question. What kind of advice would y'all give to um, up and coming battle rappers that just actually coming into the game? That's trying to get to the levels that you guys are. Get it Stay with it. Stay with it and, and, and don't listen to the, the criticism and the hate and take right. it the wrong way. Just, just build off it. And learn right. from your mistakes, watch your own, you know what I'm saying? Go over your own footage, just like they do in the, in the NFL and the NBA, and see what you, you did wrong and fix it. And just keep, if you want it bad enough, you're going to get it. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. You want it bad enough, you're going to get it. You're going to find a way to do it. So just right. keep at it. It's no, it's no shortcuts, man. Like, like no matter what you do, you can like you can buy as many battles as you want. But like, as as far as you going to where you need to go, you gotta you gotta get it out of the mud. You gotta have the grind, and you gotta have what people want to see. So you have to know that you know you always gotta improve every battle. You know, at the end of the day, no matter how good you think you are, your next battle, you still have to improve off of that. And everybody be better than your last performance. Yes. One of the viewers said, um, you have to go in thinking, you can't go in thinking like you're going to choke or you will go in with an undefeated mentality. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I never think, I never think about choking. I mean, I think it's, I think it's because the way I write, because like I've choked in like maybe two or three of my battles, but nobody will ever know only me because like the way I write my stuff or whatever, but like, if if you do choke, like I like you know, like it's two ways you can go about it. Like you could try to get it back. If you miss again, then just like like Stretch said, just end the round. You know what I'm saying? If not, you don't want to stand there and try to get it back too long. So if you choke, that shit makes then, you look stupid, right? You know, what I mean, if you choke, you can run the you can run the bar back. You can get it back. I've seen rappers come back from it and do okay, you know. But if you miss it that second time and you come back, just let it go. Okay. Um, Jersey. Okay, so he's just said we have some heavy hitters in Oklahoma too. Um, I guess they're from Tulsa area. Um, Zay Smooth, have you heard of him? Yeah, I've I've, I've um I've heard of him before. Okay. Ice Cold. Um, one SK. Three SK or one SK. One. I've heard of three SK. I've never yeah, heard, heard of one three SK. SK. Yeah, what right. D-Lo. D-Lo? D-Lo? Uh-huh. Nah, not familiar. D-Lo. But, but, but that's one thing about battle rap, man. It's a lot of leagues and a lot of battlers, man. So it's like, it's tough to know a lot of people. You know what I'm they saying? They don't know so, us either. Right, that's what I'm saying. They don't know who we you are either. You know, so it's like, it's a vice versa thing. They probably, you know, dope where they from, you know, stuff like that. So this, like, stuff like this makes it better, you know, if we ever cross paths or interact. Well, I remember you. I remember Ice Cold or Zay Smooth or something like that. So it's good. He so said, they battled in the bullpen. Yeah. And, uh, got a good look on a GZ on, on KLTV and D-Lo stood in front of A-Ward. That's, that's dope. That's dope. Those, you, just gave me, you just gave me a bunch of names to look up. I'm definitely going to look them up, bro. Right. Right. That's um. That's dope, man. Like, like you know, A Ward. A Ward is a great look. You know, what I mean, for your resume, especially if you can stand in the front of them and 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 do pretty good. That's what people want to see. Like, it's really not about wins on the next level. It's really not about winning and losing. It's about the people wanting to see you, no matter what. And that's what gets you paid and gets you far. Is it anyone y'all hesitant in actually battling? Nah. Mills, what about you? I battle anybody. Okay. All right now. Well, let me I'll take that back. Anybody that has something that, that we can gain off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just gonna go around the corner and they can be like, oh, you want battle? And I just give them nine minutes of bars. From the, we need, yeah, something has to be, you know what I'm saying? We gotta make something off of this. Right. right. 
But I, I'm, I'm not afraid to battle anybody. I battle anybody on the main stage, anybody in URL, RBE. I battle anybody. It, it, uh, that's never been... Nah. Okay. Like, a, a lot of people don't realize my, my resume in upstate alone, I've battled every... Every... How can I say this? Every person that is at the top Mm -hmm. I battled them. I battled Burns. I battled Dirt. I battled Half Past Seven. I battled Do Street. I battled Mr. Cell. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I battled like goats, like people that you don't even have to say. Oh, I, I, who you talking about? Like you know who we talk about when you upstate. You know what I'm saying? Like right. So I my I started off different. I didn't have to get a lot of wins in my in my rankings to feel like I'm you know what I'm saying I battle people that if I didn't take this serious I was gonna get three old and look stupid on camera and you know what I'm saying and I had to fight through that so that's why I feel like I have the confidence to battle anybody okay. anybody and it, 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 it only get it's only getting better like we as battle rappers know when it's time to like take a year break or go to the studio and leave battle like just leave it down, right? Like, leave it down. Better like, every battle, every round, I'm getting better, and I'm like, this shit don't make no sense, right? So wait till I step on that URL stage in front of them people, it's gonna make me go to a level that. Yes, I'm telling you, I just can't wait. You'll see, you'll see. That's the fact. I've been there, and I know, I know the stretch talent exceeds a lot of people that they consider like you know what i mean like the next up like i just like i would love you know for them you know what i mean to like people who've accomplished what he's accomplished deserve that man and so the mission the mission is like just putting them there man and letting them you know what i mean letting them just go for broke once you get there we just want to we just want them there so that's I just it take the, we, we just, did, I just we want to see that happen we did have some requests before this show started a couple of our followers, our loyal followers, was asking, um, were you guys going to do anything like freestyle on the show? I'm talking about, so I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think they're both writing for battles, so I don't know if anybody's going to freestyle on the spot. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if you want to uh, you go live like tomorrow or the day after, it just text me 20 minutes beforehand. I'll give y'all a little 16, but I just showed you the pad and all that. Like, I'm still... Yeah, his mind is in that. So right. yeah, no, like, I, I definitely I, respect it. Nah, I definitely respect it. You wanna you wanna hold on, I'm in a room. I'm in a room. You want y'all say y'all wanna freestyle? Oh, just, just, just to get a fair sound. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. I got a special guest. Yo, filthy. filthy. Come here. Hold on one second. I got I'm in a room full of monsters right now. Just just to let you know. Yo. Okay. You want you on the you on the show you on the radio show but they want to freestyle. A word? Yeah, they want to freestyle oh. on the show. Oh, like he like he go he go he said hold on, but now nah, they ain't gonna really gonna be able to hear the beat though, cause it's gonna be blurry. Hold on one second, I got a monster in the room right now with me. Go ahead, take your time. We here for it. There we go. Talk about it. Tell them who you with. Stop. Yo, this is the filthy handed Scrags, aka the crazy monk. What's good? What's good? Welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. All right, I'm gonna I'm 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 flip some something for you, all right? All you right, ready? we ready whenever you ready. All right, no doubt, people. For shizzle, I'm your jizzle dizzle on the grizzle. I spark that shit that make your brain double dribble. Give me your spot so I can help it fizzle a little. Get sucking some skittles while I play with your girl nipple. Asia your fubo only taking a few nibbles. Politicians make me giggle. I know that they talking riddles. Flapjacks, pancakes, boiled and golden griddle. I miss you, my pops, and homemade peanut brittle. Throw my name in the game and cause a tidal wave ripple. Step back and make triple while I watch your pocket slowly swivel. Make a groan, moan, and groan when I put it all in the middle and stroke that ass like I'm playing a violin fiddle. I can flow to anything, even with water trickles. And ride a rhyme in hard snow with an icicle. Have you ever been cold cocked with a fist full of nickels? Just because you sold me some shit? That was artificial. Buddha bandits blaze like green with white crystals collecting dirty pistols that we call mini missiles. A desert eagle issue with the, with the flesh tissue and bone gristle. Put a hole in you so when the wind blow it start the whistle. 
This do a thug fizzle, make a spizzle sizzle. You know I got your back, I got that chrome nickel. I love it when a girl walk her ass jiggling wiggle on a hot summer day, sucking all on popsicle. <laughs> Baby pucker up, lick your lips and wet your whistle while I roll up some blueberry drizzle. Wow. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> That's bust. Well, my nigga, we out there busting. <laughs> bro, I got about ten. It's about ten shooters in a cut over here, bro. This nigga's gonna come out this bitch randomly and drop some crazy shit, yo. Well, damn. Nigga did the thing right there. <laughs> That's nigga gonna bust that. They gonna bust the ride shit. Hell uh, yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, we might have to link up with his ass in a minute. Yeah, that's my yeah. That's my nigga filthy right there, Scrags. Salute to him. Y'all know he did his thing on that. Most definitely, man. Yeah, it's a room full of them over there. I don't want to let him, I don't want to let them know we over here on the live. I, 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 nigga, my phone be going all around the motherfucking room, bro. No, we got time. We got time. It is what it is. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, let me send. Let me let me send another shooter over here. Hold on. Hey, yo, yo, Grizzo, Grizz, yo, come here. Oh, hold on, we got we got oh we got OG Grizz in the building too over here. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait one second. I mean, we got we got we got some monsters over here in the building. Filthy just dropped this shit in the radio team. You gotta give him some bars though. What's happening? You want some bars? Some bars? Stretch what's right up, there what's up? You want some bars? Yeah, you know you what's good, stretch. How are you? Let me hear I'm pulling, man. You know what I mean? I'm in here, we vibing, but I I I'll throw something at y'all real quick. I said, hold on, let me see, let me see. All right. Hold on, let me hit this black real quick. I said, clearing my thoughts, my mind, my biggest enemy. It's Duce in the glass, had to chill out with the Hennessy. Mental aggression is the passion that can hinder me, but I can never lose. I know how to channel my energy. It's facts versus fiction, you letting the fools tell it, but cats who live it, no experience is the truth teller. So what the fuck y'all talking about? Cause ain't nothing new up under the sun. Just get your money and run. Keep a knife or a gun. I shoot or stab them if they coming for me. You can marry these bullets. I call it holy mattress. Just kiss this bride, your lips gon' fly I now pronounce you dead, honeymoon in the sky Fuckers, I'm from the cracks of the pavement That old lady with the quarter juleps is the hood I was raised in The fiends OD and the niggas are still creeping On anybody looking like victim get caught sleeping The streets don't love you back Even the good guys keep it cool with me Now those are rules to live by I'm still a <laughs> That's it, I got you Oh, hey yo, I fuck with y'all niggas, man, but I'm kind of bent, so I'm signing out. Yo, nah, hold it down, yo, stretch. I fuck with you, man, niggas. Yo, spit some shit, man. I'm, 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 I'm yo. Am I gonna be able to see this? Yeah, shit? yeah. We about right, to I'm gonna check this shit out later, yo, my niggas. Yeah, salute, me, bro. That's a fact, bro. Okay. Room for the right, room, right room for the mo- room for the monsters. Look, live from the people from the dragons. Man, listen, bro. I'll tell you, man. We stay around it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been doing the music shit forever. You know what I'm saying? So like all of that Spotify shit, man. Like I hate just even announcing it, man. Like it's just, it's just so much talent. On this live right now, you know what I mean? Between me, you, bro, Stretch, you know what I mean? Even Jazzy having this radio personality wave as a talent, you know what I mean? She got so just this small segment just shows you the power of the whole. This is a small part of a bunch of people who could do the same thing. It's just about being seen, man. It's about putting the shit where the people were matter at. That's it. Right. That's a fact, man. I love, I love the energy, man. I love the energy. Yeah. Most definitely, man. I'm glad, man. You know what I mean? We had me and bro on here for y'all first every show. Honey Holloway <laughs> says, Stretch, give us a light 10. I don't got, I don't got no bars for niggas right now. Yo, it's too long, bro. I'm, I ain't even gonna hold, like, listen, I can relate to Stretch, man, because this one thing, this one thing about battle rap, it's tough to juggle both. I just, I'm just relaying the message. That's it. It's tough. To, it's tough to juggle both, man. It's tough to be in battle mode and trying to make music, man. That's a tough. That's a tough mix. It's like two different. I, I know what it is. I know what it is. I get stuck in the. I get stuck in the matrix myself. 
Yeah, I'm you probably, heard, your, you heard yourself. Twice. You beat us at some shit in your music. Like, you know, I'm about to take that out and put that in my in my rhyme, my battle rhyme. So if you take it away from your own verse. Look, um, Andre Stubbs out in Oklahoma said that um, Scrag sounded like Buster back in the Dungeon Dragon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, see, and he just pulled about the cut. He dropped that on us at the spur of the moment, bro. Like, kid is like, it's a bunch of this different talent. This is New York, so you can see where his influence come from, man. That's just from the essence, you know. And we always rap like that. And he, and he act like Buster Rhymes when he be doing the live show. He be doing all the lip, doing. He wow, bro. <laughs> he wow. That's what it is. Yes, yes, true indeed. Um, Swag, you got any more questions for them or? Um, I mean, everything was just happening naturally. Like, oh, oh, yeah. you know, I ain't asking any questions. Everything was just coming out. Look, we was getting freestyles, all that, right? <laughs> this, is, this, this is a great first show. I just, want to, I just want to thank everybody for being part of it today. You know what? Well, I do want to say that, for one, thank y'all for, you know, being part of the show. Um, even though this show has been going on, this is our second year doing it. This segment right here is actually a first segment we're doing so i want to thank y'all for being like the first people on it and, you know y'all did amazing and what y'all do is amazing and i hope to see a lot more of what y'all can do in the future and I'm all gonna- right man since, yeah. since you said it like that i said look uh-oh oh shit it's wait crazy. a minute <laughs> oh. i said it's crazy these other niggas not in my lane i have floor seats I sat back watching the game. See, I could play with all that other shit, but not with my name. A couple rappers taking shots, but they ain't got any aim. I keep my head up to the sky like I'm watching a plane. They basic. So everything they watching is plain. I'm at next with a wrist to shine without the watches and chains. These niggas need closed caption. Better watch what they saying. But these niggas doubt. Get them in and I get them out. Yeah, I'm in the route. On the road to the riches now. They just chasing clout. No travel, you'll get around. Keep thinking you a stand-up nigga. I sit them down. You'll get the pound without dapping up. See, when you don't show them attention, they start to acting up. I put time and energy in it, but I ain't have enough. But I was taught you could get it if you want it bad enough. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey, oh, that, right. that's light. That's light. But that's I mean, yeah, since yeah. You said, since you said we blessed the first show, I had to give y'all some bars. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we appreciate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Appreciate yeah. it. Like, y'all definitely y'all have a me. talent for what y'all do. And I hope that y'all really go far you know, in this industry. And I'm rooting for you guys, truly. Yeah, I like to, I like to have y'all back on sometime, sometime next year. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Matter of fact, the do for December 8th. So we yo. can talk about this battle. Right. Nah, nah yo. And I need everybody who watch it, man, to go watch uh, Stretch Mills versus Big T, man. We need that to go up over 10,000 views, man. We watching over yeah, here, that's man. Crazy, like, no, that's right. You know, we need, like, we need my, we need my bro, we need my bro to clip 10,000 views. He about 700 away. So show that love, man, and watch, and watch Upstate go to work, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Matter of fact, I'm up. We gonna um drop that battle actually in the group and yes. on our page, so everybody can go and watch it. Um, yeah. So yeah, we bought we bought the levels, man. We need we need to see that, man. Like I I, I look I look probably like every couple of weeks is just to see. I see my bro close, you know what I mean. So I'm I'm trying my best, man, to try to get him up over that that threshold, man. That's real real big, man. Good good very good for his resume, man. So that's all it's about. I right, appreciate y'all. If y'all wanna, if y'all wanna come on, if y'all wanna come on here and do any face offs or whatever before y'all battles, you know y'all can always hit us up and let us know. Yeah. Y'all wanna do any promo, whatever, whatever, whatever help y'all need. Yep. All right, Word, y'all we go. Link something up. Definitely, man. Just you, you can YouTube Burns the Fireman. Uh, B U R N with a Z. Burns with a Z. Um, the fireman. I'm all over uh YouTube. Um, you can IG um at Burns Fire 3D. Um, I'm on Facebook at Michael Thomas. Um, GI Go. Get him in. Get him out. Bluntville Entourage. Like it's it's real real big upstate, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still definitely stay woke. So that's right. Anybody y'all want to give shout outs to or mention? The whole upstate. Man, everybody, man, who support, man, I'm going to say good or bad, man, we we need to love, we need to hate to keep us balanced, the yin and the yang. 
So the whole the whole region, man, from from Albany all the way back to the to the to the top end of Buffalo at the border, man. Everything in that area, man, and shouts to the whole world, man. Like we coming, man. No no pause, none of that other shit, man. We in the building, man. That's a fact. Upstate. That's a right. fact. Mills, you got anybody you want to shout out or acknowledge? I just shout out my team, AVP, Upstate, GI Go, On Site, Double F. Like, like I, I branch and I work with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, if I sit here and shout everybody out, we're gonna be here forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> definitely shout out GBOD. That's my home team. Like, that's my brother and my. That's family. Like, blood family. They without them, I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Probably still be here. I be doing something else. This, this music, you know what I'm saying? So they keep me focused on this. My 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 main man, Nick Anthony. That's my right hand. That's my engineer. One of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? Like he been there since day one with this music shit, and he's still pushing me. DC, like man, this list could go on forever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that that was doing this battle shit or this music shit upstate before me. Cause that's where I, you know what I'm saying? They inspired me to do this. Like shout out, definitely shout out Burns, shout out Clem, Tom, Tom, like shout out everybody. Just shout out everybody. You, you, you know what I mean? Like it's a lot of people, it's too many people. So fine, fine. And definitely, definitely all the supporters. I don't even want to call them fans. Cause you know what I'm saying? It just, I don't know. It just, People that really support me, and I don't have to say, yo, check my new song out. I just put the song out, and they tell me about it. You know what I'm saying? Just shout out them people. No, that's all right. Swag, you want to um, mention what's going to be your next Friday show, or who rather is going to be your next Friday show? Oh, next Friday show, we do have Zan in the house. We uh, re- reviewed her battle earlier. Zan E Heart Battle, we're going to have Zan, and we're also going to have Bacon from 413. So, this thing, this is going to be another dope show next week. Another oh, dope show. Gonna be another dope show. Yeah. I'm going to tune in. I'm definitely going to tune in. But we know y'all busy and stretch. We know you got to get back to putting your head back into your book. We appreciate yeah, y'all, it. fellas. And I hope you do well. I know you're going to do well on your battle, so I ain't even going to say hope. Good luck. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, you know if y'all want to show up, you know what I'm saying? Listen, Tonawanda, Buffalo. I don't know where it is. You might. Spell, if you spell Tonawanda, if you spell Tonawanda, bro. C O N A W N A D A. Some shit. Okay. Bro, I don't know. I got a battle. I got it was playing. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I got a battle. I got a battle on four one three on the on the eighth. On the I got and I'm on the night. That's crazy. You battle on the seventh. You battle on the eighth, and I battle on the ninth. That's fucking wild. That's a fact. And I battled the 15th in Premier. Oh no, nah, that's too much. You you on that you on that yeah, big yeah, rust wave right time. there, bro. <laughs> I want them. I, they gotta know who I am. They gotta I feel like, me. I like that hat though. Oh yeah, you already know. Shout you out, know shout out. Like, right. Live live in the queues, man. You know it, man. Shout out to shout out to the Cuse boys, man. The whole three one five for that last weekend, man. That shit was dope. Yeah, shout out to um Ivan the Great, man. He threw, he yeah, threw that shit was dope, man. Yeah, the whole the whole going platoon, man. Talk Ivan, Dirt, man, uh, Cage. definitely, man. Cage, uh, you know what I mean, like Stretch Mills, you know what I mean, even Juice Streets hanging around, man. These are Syracuse dudes that I came up, you know what I mean, like respecting in this game, man. So. Like you know, what I mean, their well being is my well being, man, and that's and that's what I that's what I move with. No, that's all right. That's dope, man. That's so uh-huh. Y'all guys for coming in again. Yeah, and being on the show, man, we really appreciate it. Yeah, you already know, know, bro. Shout it out, man. Sure y'all get y'all get the links to it so y'all can share it. Yeah, that's a fact, man. Copy. Yo, Stretch Mills versus Big T, man. Seven hundred views, man. Let's go upstate. That's right. We need, we need to get that. <laughs> Salute, y'all. You heard? I appreciate y'all for having me. We appreciate y'all. All right. All right. So, swag. Yeah. 
since we're going to wrap this up pretty soon, do you have any last thoughts or? Um, I mean, I, I, yeah, my last thoughts on this is, uh, like exactly the views that I, that I, that I set out and, you know, from the questions that we have for the show, I see everybody was pretty much centered, centered around the same answers or whatever case. So I mean, just like the show, oh, I mean, just for this episode, because, you know, we still live, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, no, nah, I mean, it, it was, it was a dope, it was a dope show. I mean, mm-hmm. and I, I, I learned a lot, you know, because. As as a battle rapper, speaking of battle rap, um, you you know you debate with a lot of people sometimes, mm-hmm. whatever case may be, because I may see things different. Mm-hmm. It was a breath of fresh air to to sit and pretty much have to have similar views. With people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm and like I've done reviews for battles before, but I've never did it with anybody else had putting their input into it. And mm-hmm. it, was, it was like, okay, yeah, you seen the same thing I seen. Okay, yeah, 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 smart. My, my, my vision is sharp. I see the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. It was dope. I see we're going we gonna, to we gonna do a lot with this moving forward. Moving so forward. for those of y'all who just kind of started watching our show, um, y'all can find our page on Facebook. It's something for the people. S-U-M-T-H-I-N, the number four, D-A-N, people. Um, you know, we're going to be doing this every Friday night. It will be Battle Rap. Fridays every week. So, and we also have our regular live show on Monday nights at 8 p.m. as well. So, hope y'all join us again next week. Also, Monday. Don't forget Monday night. <laughs> don't, don't forget Monday night. Who's our guest Monday? We got Ray Ray coming in. Yep. We got Ray Ray. And then who, who's, the, who's the other guest? Um, Lamar Smooth from out in Oklahoma. He actually opened up for Rock Him. Okay. Okay. So he's actually a return guest. He was one of the first guests of um, something for the people. So okay. he's a return guest. So we get a nice little update from him. Find out what he what he's been doing. What what he's uh-huh. up to. What he got mm-hmm. going on. So. Uh, um, also, being that it's November and you know it's hip hop November month. So and he's part of the Zulu Nation. So I mean, we're gonna get some great insight. So okay, let's, let's do it. All right. So. I'm Jazzy J. I'm Swagger Dawn. And we will see y'all next Friday. And Monday. Tune oh, yeah, in. and Monday. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, Monday and Friday. Shoot, pretty soon we're going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in a minute. But <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. But definitely tune in Monday. And next Friday, you're going to get another battle rap show. Another battle yeah. rap review. Yeah, with more battles to review. Two new, more guests. And, yeah. More conversation. Check the page out. I'm going to post some links real soon in the next battles we're going to review. Right. Y'all have a good night, y'all. All right. Peace.